Here are the top five stories you need to know about today. A $200 million school bond will be on the November ballot in Chico. Reporter Diego Moctezuma is live at the Chico Unified School District office to tell us what this bond will mean for the district. Kelly, this will add a $239 million bond to help with the school district's facility master plan. The, fa the facility's master plan is to address current and future facility improvement needs. But for them to do more major improvements, the school district needs to secure the bond. The measure will be paid for by increasing homeowners taxes by about $60 every year per $100,000 of a home's value. It would cost the owner of a $400,000 home $240 a year. The school bond must pass with 55% or higher voter approval. The vote will be on Election Day on November 5th. Back to you, Kelly. Breaking overnight, Highway 99 is back open in Tehama County after a giant tree blocked the road early this morning. Several vehicles were damaged, including this big rig, when they drove into the fallen tree. Around 1 this morning, the tree fell across both lanes of Highway 99 East in the Vina area. At least three southbound cars hit the edge of the tree. Some of them were damaged, and that semi-truck headed north, slammed head-on into the biggest part of the tree trunk. The truck's cab was damaged. The road is back open. Tonight, some downtown Reading streets will be closed for the opening of a new park. Main Street and Paseo will be closed due to the dedication of the Whistle Stop Park. It's in front of Shasta College's downtown location. The park dedication honors Reading's longstanding connection to the California and Oregon Railroad. The festivities start at 4 p.m. until 8 p.m. and the street closures remain until 10 p.m. New details. We're giving you a look at the candidates who have filed paperwork to run for Chico City Council. There are four seats up for election districts one, three, five, and seven. In District 1, Mike O'Brien is running for the seat currently held by Sean Morgan, who's not running again. In District 3, Dale Bennett is seeking re-election. He'll be challenged by Monica McDaniel. In District 5, Katie Hawley is running for the seat currently held by Andrew Coolidge, who's not seeking re-election. And there in District 7, uh, Deepika Tandon, the incumbent, will be challenged by Bryce Goldstein and Bruce McLean. There's still time for candidates to enter. The nomination process will end August 9th. And new details, children were present when drug task force officers in Chico busted two suspects for possible fentanyl drug sale. They found bongs shaped like kids' toys. Officers arrested Michael Bowers and Shelby Pogue for conducting a suspected drug sale. The drug task force found more than 300 grams of fentanyl and other evidence linked to illegal drug sales. The two kids, ages 3 and 5, were taken into protective custody and the two suspects were taken to Butte County Jail.